looks abandoned. Abandoned church with a cemetery. That's awesome. I gotta check this out. This is too cool. an outhouse. We'll go check it out real quick. Uh, I don't think I can open it. I'm not going to go through all that poison sumac or whatever that is to open try. Cemeteries right back there. Let's see if it's unlocked. It's starting to decay, that's for sure. That's pretty cool. I don't know if that's been staged or not, but probably not. Because I am like, the Lord is my shepherd Him. I am like on a back road in the middle of nowhere in Jackson County, and I don't even have phone signal. Interesting that that's the last passage written on the board, 9-1-23. So they had a service in here last year? Surely not. No way. Maybe somebody just wrote that last year. Because it's pretty decayed in here. It is not fit for a service, but it's just a small one room church way back on the back roads of Jackson County. It's always nice to see, even though it's in decay, that it's still here. Just, you know, to explore. That's one thing Kentucky has to offer. A lot of abandoned exploring, a lot of interesting stuff. back here, that's for sure, unmarked. This 
one's 1911 or 1912. Excuse me. All right. Well, that does it for this abandoned church explorer with a cemetery. Interesting to say the least. I did spot one grave over here by itself. I'm guessing a mason, as always, here at the abandoned church. Well, there's a couple here. So this could be, I don't know, this could be an abandoned small cemetery. It has a T on it. I can't read it, but I believe that's probably from the 1800s. Yeah, because this one is. Jacob L. Tussey, November 26, 1822 to May 22nd, 1889. Now we've got the tea here. Probably his wife. Wonder if this church has been here since the 1800s. say so. Later.